Hello and welcome to our first tutorial for Soundation. Um, Soundation is a piece of digital audio software and you can find it by accessing the internet. So if you're using a PC you can use Chrome or Internet Explorer down here. If you're on one of the Macs you can use Safari. Safari has a logo which looks a little bit like this. Okay, so you need to look for that compass shape if you're on one of the Macs. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to open up the internet. And we need to type in Soundation. Now it's the first one that comes up and it says Make Music Online. We click on that and this gets us onto the website. Now to log in, we're going to use my login details and this will mean that everyone's work will be saved in the same place. Okay. So, your teacher should be able to give you the details, but if they can't, the details are daniel.blishan at tripweir.org.uk and the password is tripweir, T-R-F-W-I-A, login. Okay, once you get to this stage and it says that you're signed in successfully, you're ready to go. Okay, you know that you're logged in, so it'll say Mr. Blishan over here. To start making music, you need to click Studio up along the top and that will take us to a window that looks like this. Okay, when we're at this screen, this is where we can start actually making music. Now we've got down the side here, two different sorts of channels. We've got these gray ones here, and we've got these light blue ones here. These gray ones that are called audio channels, we don't want. So we want to click on those and delete to get rid of them. That will leave us with one software channel here, the light blue one. Okay. Um, along the bottom of the screen, we've got standard playback controls, so we can play, we can pause, we can go back to the start, fast forward, rewind, that sort of thing. Along here is a number, 125, that's the tempo control. So that will control how fast the piece will play. The higher the number, the faster it's going to go. Okay, we're going to set it to 90, because we're looking at hip-hop this term, and most hip-hop is around 90 beats per minute. Okay, now that we've actually set the tempo and we've got our one instrument channel ready to go, the next thing we need to do is we need to insert a note clip. This will mean that we can actually start to write in notes for this instrument here. Okay, uh, what we need to do is just double click simply next to the instrument channel and we're just going to drag that back to the start. So this is one bar here. And that corresponds with this note clip window here. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see. You can see along here, this is the start of bar one and this is the start of bar two. And here, this is the start of bar one and here is the start of bar two. So they're exactly the same. Um, we have four beats within each bar. Now, if we were just to go up the keyboard here, you'd hear that we're making... Um, <laughs> Noises, nice noises. Uh, what we're going to do though is we're going to start off with a drum pattern. So along the side here you can see that it says simple. That is the name of the instrument that we're using at the moment. We want to change that. We want to change that to a drum machine. And by doing that, we now get drum sounds on here. You'll notice that you'll only get drum sounds between C3 and G above that. Everything else is completely silent, so we need all of our notes to be within this area here. When we're making a drum pattern, we need our kick drum, which is C3, to be on beat 1 and beat 3 of the bar. Remember, we've got first beat, second beat, third beat, fourth beat. On the second and fourth beats, we need to have a snare or a clap sound. The snare sound is here on the C sharp and the clap sound is on the D. I'm going to go for the clap and I'm going to put those there. Now if we go back to the start of the track and hit play, we've got a really, really simple drum beat. What you'll need to do in this lesson is to start to use this as a basis but then add different drum sounds to it to make a more interesting beat. So I'm going to add a few hi-hats. And you will see, if you drag the end of them, you can actually make these notes shorter so you can fit more notes in. Didn't quite work there. I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit here. And I'm going to add in some extra notes here.
Here we go. And we could also add in maybe side stick sound. Quite like that. Okay, that's all you need for your first tutorial. So just remember, log in, use the login details, go to studio, delete all the audio tracks, keep this instrument track, but change it to a drum machine. Double click next to it to open the note clip window and inside there you can start to actually write in your drum pattern. Remember you've got your kick drums on beats one and three and your claps or snares on beats two and four. Have fun.